Hi, my name is Sarah Woodfine. I'm the pastry chef at Troquet Restaurant in, right here in Boston, Massachusetts. Today we're going to be making steamed lemon pudding. It's a really easy dessert, especially for those of you who don't even know how to bake. Trust me, you can do it. Not that many ingredients. So first of all, you want to use fresh lemons. You don't want to use lemon juice. Fresh lemons, the better. You want to take three big juicy lemons. You want to zest them and juice them and put them in a bowl. Make sure not to get any seeds in it. You don't want to bite into that later on. Then set that aside. You want to crack five egg whites and save two of the yolks and just put them right in your lemon mix. Sugar, granulated sugar, white granulated sugar, fine sugar, not so fine sugar, doesn't really matter. Sprinkle that right in your lemon mix as well. All-purpose flour, not pastry, all-purpose. Sprinkle that right in there as well too. Now you want to mix that up. The flour is going to kind of want to stick together a bit, but just mix it up. Just set that aside. Now, while you're just letting your lemon mixture hang out, we're going to whip the egg whites. Now what you want to do is you want to take them straight from the fridge. You don't want them to be room temperature. They're going to get a more light and fluffy air to them. Um, and basically you just whip them on medium speed for about five minutes, maybe six minutes depending on your own mixer at home. However, they need to be between soft peaks and medium peaks. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So the whites are pretty much ready. Now we're going to get everything set. Ah. Tricky little mixer. Now your whites are about a medium peak. Pretty good consistency. You don't want to waste any time between the whites being ready and folding it in. Just get rid of that. So you just want to keep on folding. Make sure everything is incorporated. Leave nothing. This creates a little bit more fluffiness. You get a little bit of a better yield out of your mix. And make sure that all the whites are incorporated very nicely. Don't overmix it though. If you overmix it, you're going to lose your volume. It's a fine line. So that's pretty much what it should look like. And we're going to put them into these buttered and sugared ramekins. You can buy these ramekins at any, at any store really. I'm going to fill them in. just to the top like that. Perfect. Now you want to butter and sugar your ramekins. It doesn't have to be any specific way so as long as they're buttered and sugared. This makes for the dessert to come out nice and easy. You don't want any stickage whatsoever. And this recipe yields six so it'll be great for a dinner party maybe. Maybe you have company coming over. It doesn't take that long to put together. And you want to just take a little dollop off and make sure that it's even. So that's perfect. All you want is six. So then we're going to take these six ramekins and put them into, well at home you'd have a 9 by 13 pan. However, we didn't have that here, so we're going to put them into this pan. You just need to put them into a container that is high enough so that when they rise they're not going to hit the top. Either take cold or lukewarm water and pour it about a third of the way up the ramekins. This is going to help it steam. This is why it's called steamed lemon pudding. And make sure to cover it with a piece of aluminum foil, tin foil, very snugly. Make sure there's no gaps and this actually creates the steam. So. This is what really makes it nice and fluffy. So now we have our lemon puddings ready to go. Put it in a 350 degree oven for 12 minutes and just wait. So most of the hard part is done. Not all of it, but most of it. Now we have to demold it. You have to, I can't stress enough how you have to let it 
be cool to the touch. Give it a little shake. Shake it up a bit. Flip it up, upside down on the plate, even if you want to give the plate a little shake. Boom. The most perfect lemon dessert you will ever serve to your guests. Now, it's good on its own, trust me, I know this. You can see how it kind of gels on the top, and as it gets, as it gets to the bottom, it's more of a moist, cake-like type thing. Sometimes, the way I serve it, I put a little bit of sauce with it, maybe a little bit of raspberry coulis or something, something fruity, something nice. A little a couple of sprigs of mint maybe. Fresh berries is always pleasant on any kind of lemon-esque dessert. And also, what I do is I serve it with a little bit of fresh cream. You can do plain whipped cream if you really want to. I like to infuse it. I infuse this cream right here with a little bit of lavender. You don't have to. Some people aren't really fond of lavender. You don't have to do that if you want to. But a little bit of fresh cream. You can infuse it with spices. You can infuse it with, with liqueurs, with zest, whatever you want. And there you have it. The perfect, easy, four ingredient, <laughs> bang out lemon dessert. But I will tell you this. If you take it straight out of the oven and you don't let it cool properly, this is what you're going to end up with. <laughs> Now, a side-by-side -side comparison, I think you know the right choice. Let it cool, and actually, you can keep it in the fridge until the next day if you really want. Prepare, prepare your dessert for the dinner party the day before. Prepare it two days in advance. It's fine, just as long as you keep it covered and demold it properly. Enjoy.